This Wednesday, Days of Our Lives, delivers a roller coaster of emotions as relationships are tested, secrets are spilled, and old wounds resurface. The drama is set to escalate as Eric, Brady, Holly, Sarah, and Xander each face their own personal battles in Salem, drawing lines that could change their lives forever. Eric Brady makes a heart-wrenching decision, leaving behind Nicole and their baby Jude in Paris to return to Salem and support his brother, Brady. It's a move that reveals just how deeply family ties can pull, even when it means stepping back into a life filled with unresolved pain. For Eric, this isn't just about showing up for his brother, it's about confronting his own troubled past. Years ago, Eric drove drunk and caused a tragic accident, a dark chapter that still haunts him. Brady's own struggles now mirror the turmoil Eric once faced, and he knows all too well the suffocating guilt that comes with such a mistake, yet, the irony isn't lost here. Eric might want to offer words of comfort, but his history with Brady's late wife, the victim of his own reckless actions, looms large over every conversation. We can only hope Eric doesn't make a well-intentioned but misguided attempt to console Brady with a quip like, it's not all bad, you might end up with the widow. Eric's past with Holly is a painful reminder of how easily things can spiral out of control, and the last thing Brady needs right now is to be reminded of Eric's tangled history especially considering Holly despises Eric, who probably cringes at the thought of the mistakes that led him to that point. Meanwhile, Sarah and Xander's marriage faces a storm that neither of them saw coming. Fiona's confession to Maggie stirs the pot, dragging Sarah's mother into a secret that's bound to create friction. But the real test for Sarah and Xander isn't just about keeping secrets, it's about the ongoing fallout from the hit-and-run accident that left Sarah paralyzed. Sarah is the real victim of this tragedy, the one whose life was forever altered by that fateful night. And while she's fighting every day to regain some semblance of normalcy, Xander's relentless desire for justice is doing more harm than good. He's consumed by the need to punish Brady, believing that avenging Sarah's suffering will somehow alleviate his own crushing sense of guilt. But swinging a baseball bat in frustration won't heal Sarah's wounds, nor will it undo the damage already done. Xander's heart is in the right place, but his actions are reckless. He's blinded by his own emotions, unable to see that his obsessive quest for retribution is forcing Sarah to shift her focus from her recovery to managing his overblown anger. Sarah's pleading with him to let it go, to stop making Brady the center of their lives. She needs support, not more chaos, and Xander's inability to control his emotions is only dragging them both deeper into despair. Wednesday's episode promises intense confrontations and emotional reckonings. Eric's return to Salem isn't just about supporting Brady, it's a painful reminder of his own flawed past. Sarah and Xander's marriage hangs in the balance as Xander's misguided attempts to protect his wife push her closer to the breaking point. And through it all, Holly's fury toward Tate, who seems to sympathize with his father's perspective, adds another layer of conflict to an already explosive situation. This episode of, Days of Our Lives, promises to be an emotional gut punch, forcing everyone to confront the harsh truths they've been avoiding, and making viewers question how far someone should go for the people they love. Can Eric, Brady, Sarah, and Xander find a way to heal, or are they destined to be pulled further apart by the very things that bind them?